Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexandria. It's been a minute, minute, minute because the last time I was here, I was doing the review for Wet and Wilds, Saved by the Bell. <laughs> I believe that's the last time I was here. I am so sorry. Um, it's been, I've been a little distracted, but before we get started, let's quickly introduce myself if you're new to the channel my name is alexandra i also go by alex i am a beauty creator here on youtube i have a fashion blog wrestling podcast and all the shenanigans if you're interested in and all that stuff i will link it below okay i've been in tiktok lately um i have been in tiktok so i have been kind of neglecting my like peeps here on youtube i just i don't know what it is i guess the longer hours in recording and editing here on youtube has consumed me a little bit and i've been creating halloween looks over there and i feel really bad because this is would have been the perfect time for me to create halloween looks here on youtube but i didn't so i'm really sorry about that i apologize but i just been really consumed over there but Okay, I'm here. I'm back. I just want to talk to you guys about a collection that I picked up. It's Doja Cat with BH Cosmetics. I was going to say versus BH Cosmetics, but with BH Cosmetics. I picked up the collection. I will put the price point on the screen. I waited a little bit to get the collection because there was a missing piece. And then again, I wanted to test out the shadows and kind of give a fair um review on this collection so i will put the price point and as you can tell i'm recording i have the camera pretty close to me so you guys can see my eye look i should push it back a little bit let me see there we go it's this is the pr um p a pr package it was like i think almost 260 like i said i'm putting it on the screen um it comes with this bag, a good size, um, good size bag, I guess, for traveling. You will go ahead and put your stuff in there. I have everything. I have the garbage in there, too, because every time I was trying something, I just threw the garbage in there. So it's in here, and I wanted to kind of, like, focus. The gold is creating the only, um, not the best reflect. The light is just, like, jumping off of, like, it everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to put the bag down and we're going to talk about the products that came here. Um, I guess let's talk about the products and then I'm going to tell you how I feel about the collection and my favorites and everything. So let's get started. So let's get into the shadows. It comes with a big mega eyeshadow and it comes with a small little four shade palette here. And we're going to talk about the shadows. I'm going to put image of the PR packaging and what it was supposed to come with and everything. And let me show you the individual pictures also on the screen so you could kind of have an idea what I'm going to talk about when it comes to the eyeshadow palette itself. Okay, so I love Doja Cat and this has nothing to do with Doja Cat and BH Cosmetics. I'm going to say it right now from the get i have purchased stuff from bh cosmetics and i have enjoyed it and also love doja cat's music okay i had to pull it up on the ipad because i feel like it's important for me to kind of see what i'm looking at and i could kind of tell you exactly what i'm thinking so it's actually the price for the mini one this one right here, it's $14. And this is your shimmers. And it has all four of these are your like bronzer eyeshadows right here. $14 on this one. And then the other thing that comes in the PR is your Doja Cat Mega eyeshadow. It comes 36 shades. And this one is $36. I'm sorry if I'm looking now. And I'm going to put the prices on the screen. So this is the shadow this is my third look third look that i use this palette and i was able to use both of these together okay um the first one it's not gonna be here feature here in either the second look is not feature here but the third look it is here for you too i will show 
some clips here on the screen I from TikTok. So you will kind of have an idea of what were the looks for you to have an idea that I tried a palette three times so you, I could give you my honest review on it. Let's talk about the eyeshadow. I don't understand why they came out with a tiny one right here and then this big one. My opinion about this is just doesn't make sense for my eye. Like as a consumer, it doesn't make sense for me to have two different shadows. I understand, I guess they wanted to focus the bronzer on a tiny one, but I feel like they could have knocked out four shades out of here and just added these right into the palette itself or just create four mini ones and you know do that i just don't understand why we have this and we could just add it here because if you look at it look at these bronzers it almost looks almost when i say almost similar i'm gonna put the names this doesn't have a name on it i will put closer pictures to it as you could tell the gold is like really let me get it to focus these look very similar in shade and then that's it these two look very similar and then you have your two matte colors hunter here not i get it didn't show up on my skin I guess it's a good to clean up the, um, when you're blending out the shadows. I just not really my thing. Usually with the shade, the shade, it at least apply to the lid of my eye, and I'm, I'm able to work around it. It just didn't apply on my on my eye at all. I am so sorry that the um, light is bouncing off like crazy. Let me adjust that, and then we'll continue talking about the shadows. The gold was really bouncing like crazy off. The, my skin and then off the shadows so i don't understand what was the purpose of the tiny one when we could have just probably took out a few of the shades of the mega and then applied this i feel like this was not a necessary i just feel like it was just there was no purpose to it and i think right here they're all four shimmer colors, so you're really not missing much. They're all shimmer colors, and I did use this to apply it on my eyes right here. So that's there, but I, I don't know. I, I Usually when I do buy packages, I don't tend to buy PR packages. I tend to avoid them because I don't. I like to pick and choose what I would like. But right here, I'm not very satisfied of why we have two different shadows palettes. My thoughts about the palette. The shimmer, the bronzer shimmers work fantastic. They apply nicely on the eye. Mystery that I use here on my lid came off a little chalky, like very pat, not chalky, but very patchy on my eyelids. I don't know if it was my oils of my eyelids that created the patchiness of the shadow i don't know but i have used grown i have used um night shadow night shade and night shade was a little like no night shade was actually pretty good with me and um the other shades work very well i just i don't understand why they did it so the palette is okay. It's not something super crazy that I would have ran and bought this. And so this would have been a big, big no-no for me. I wish I would have bought it through maybe Ulta and maybe have done a return on the shadows. I'm just not very happy with the shadows itself. Great. Some of them have great pigments from the ones I have used. But I just... It's not calling me at all. The palette is not calling me, but it worked lovely to create a 70s look. It gave me the little vibes of the 70s to create with this palette. I just, if you want to get it, go ahead. But I, this is a big pass on me if I would have chose to pick up the 
individual items. I said I was gonna just go ahead and tell you in the end which ones were my favorite, but I think it's best to just go, go ahead and do it while I talk about each item. Here is the other item from the collection. Your two eyeliners, one in black, one in white. I actually enjoy these very much. In the very beginning, the white one was a little dry, so I had to really shake it to kind of get the flow of the liner to come out. The black one was a little runny for me, but I did like the consistency of the liners for me as being able to create. The white one worked very well. It did not create any patchiness when you usually, when you mess with like color white eyeliner, sometimes it could create patchiness if you need to over, like add a little bit more white to fill in certain spots. It did not create that. So I did definitely think these were really good and I'm really was happy with this one. And I would have definitely purchased this and I think I will pick up more. I just like the consistency of these liners. So this was a big yes for me. Let's jump into the mascara. I know a lot of people have talked about the mascara and there was a lot of different opinions about it. I applied it on my eyes and you definitely do see it on camera. I have magnetic lashes on my eyes to kind of create the look and kind of give me more, a little bit more volume. The mascara. Very confused. I'm gonna take it out. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, I will write my TikTok name here. I did speak, I wasn't sure about it. Okay. So you see the bristles, it's more of a little circle, like an oval with the bristles. And then if um I don't know it will pick up, but um it's not picking up, guys. If you see this end right here you see little tiny bristles that you could kind of like mess and apply right here on the eyes and it will coat it. So I guess that was the purpose of it. I don't know what was the idea of the mascara. It did its job, but I think it's too messy. One, when you take it out, I'm going to put it back in and reopen it so you can see it. So when you open it, it's a very messy mascara. You have too much extra product that comes out that you need to clean your brush on the edges of the tube to kind of remove all that extra product off the mascara. I just don't think the wand works for this tube itself. The formula is okay. It's not something that... It gave me volume. No, it gave me length, but not volume. So it's supposed to give you volume and length. Um, I'm not saying I have the most longest lashes. I think I have normal size lashes and it did its job for my lashes, but it's not something to go crazy for. And it would have been a pass on me. I don't usually buy mascaras for collections. I like to keep it with my simple mascaras. I do have other brands, but I love Maybelline. Maybelline is my go-to mascara drugstore wise. So I would not have picked this up if I did not choose to get the PR package. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the glosses. These are your plumping glosses. And um, let me try to put the bag down. I have the bag right here. Here it is. You have a clear, a nude, and more of a berry color that has gold tint in it. So it kind of doesn't come off like a berry tone for me. It just comes off a different tone. I'm going to show you guys on my hand. I did apply it on my lips. And this one right here, it, it's more of a reddish tone to it i just don't like it this for me i'm not a big fan of the berry color on this one so i would have opted out on this color but i definitely do like the clear in the new one i have the new one right now it gives you you feel a little tingly to your lips very light i'm gonna show you another one that i like to use and then so i could kind of compare both of them so you can have an idea what i'm talking about i love nyx filler instant filler 
lip glosses i like how it feels it has like a little bit of a sting but not as much and if you are a very beginner so the, this one is my go-to one as a drugstore one i like this one a lot and i have all the shades and this is the one i tend to buy mostly if you want to try a plumping effect gloss and you're very big if you're a beginner this is a safe one i feel like it has a very small tingling feeling but it's not too much but it's a safe side to go ahead and try it like i said i'm gonna put the prices onto the side but i did not like the berry color on me but i really like the the clear one and the new one on my lips okay these are your lip balms i'm gonna show you i tried the clear one the clear one is just a regular clear to nourish your lips it's not really much to it this is a clear one i really didn't try it i did some swatches like i said i'm gonna probably add those videos whatever i did on tiktok on the side i did a swatch on it so i tried this one too it didn't have like this one's a light tint so it's not gonna give you too much i did not try this one's supposed to be your um your berry color it doesn't have it just is this one is your heavier tint i didn't try this one at all my favorite one like a tint color like this would be the clinique's black cherry it has a nice little tint color right now it's probably sold out everywhere because i ever since tiktok discovered it that color sold out and i can't even get my hands to restock on my goodies so if you i will put the picture of it but these are okay not something i would have gravitated to purchase in the collection okay the highlighter i'm like trying not to rub it against my shirt here is the highlighter and it is champagne and very beautiful i have it on my right now but i would also opt out on this because i have something just as similar on this highlighter but if you want to get it okay. go next thing is your brushes um some of them are still in the container and the rest i did use it and i have like ton of garbage i'm trying not to make the bag full okay so i did use these these brushes right here i use the oh my god the um eyeshadow brush i guess this is your eyeshadow brush it doesn't have names for it but you could use whatever you want to use them for and then here i use that for a different look for the 70s i created that to cre help me create the liner then a blush then i use this for powder this is i use it has more of an angle so this is, will be your angle brush and then your eyeliner brush they're pretty cool nice design on the brushes for the price point i don't think it's that bad so if you want to pick up some brushes go ahead it has a nice aesthetic to it i did like the brushes itself so i may have gotten it just because i need to have extra brushes and i tend to buy very affordable brushes i don't tend to run and get expensive ones so i might have picked this up and i did like the function of it they don't feel heavy very lightweight and very flexible to move around even though you will believe it, it's a heavy material because of the the brush itself but very lightweight very easy to move around very i'm not gonna say it's super soft but it's soft on the skin that it's easy to go ahead and like mess around with it soft but not super soft if you're expecting it to be feels like the most like a pillow on my skin i'm no it feels soft it's very soft consistency of the brush and it does do his job so the names of the shade is peony and poppy poppy and rose okay i got peony that's the one they sent me and this is the one that never arrived in the pr package so i reached out to bh cosmetic and they sent it to me this is peony this color is so beautiful like don't get me wrong but it just didn't work on me it reminds me oh my god it reminds me of a bruise that fades away it's not gonna get out of my mind it just did not <laughs> like when i applied it in the video it looked like a bruise 
like somebody like if I got hit and it got like it started fading away and it started looking on my skin that's what it reminded me the other two I love the colors beautiful consistency on the blushes I loved it I you gotta be careful don't grab too much because it's gonna be too much to blend you're gonna have to blend because the pigment is there so you gotta be very gentle for this one if you have almost my complexion i would recommend um, i'm a light beige in my foundation and i had to use the champagne the highlighter and to kind of blend it into my skin and then it worked lovely with the blush as by itself like i said it reminds me of the bruise so i wouldn't use it by itself i had to use it with champagne if you are more of a little medium beige and darker this would look i think it would look lovely on you it would look just great and especially i think with an olive tone i would have to test it out on someone who has an olive tone skin i think it would look marvelous um the other two work lovely but if i had to pick the um which one i would have preferred i would have picked up rose rose would have looked great on my complexion and i didn't get it so obviously the only bad thing about the pr package you don't pick the blushes that you could have so that's the only bad thing about it but besides that if you want to get the blushes and you have go ahead and check i will put the pictures of the blushes right here but rose would have been my go-to blush for my complexion it would have worked best for me so it is what it is but i'm gonna make it work i definitely want to try it to see how it looks on a eyeshadow look and then i think that could work for me but let's finish up the video and tell you what i think about the collection okay okay my favorite thing of the collection is the eyeliner the blush the glosses except berry and then the um blushes okay the only blush that i got um trying to understand the collection for 220 dollars i don't understand why the mirror wasn't part of the pr package i just i don't know i was really excited about it and i was hoping to fall in love with the whole collection the last collection i did really really fall in love was the powerpuff girls one i don't know what was the missing mark on this collection nothing to do with bh cosmetics and doja cat i love bh cosmetics very affordable great pigments when it comes to the shadows and their quality for a very affordable doja cat is a wonderful performer and everything but this for 220 i could have just picked and choose and the bad thing is they there many of the i the reviews are not the best on the website i couldn't really tell but i would have just opt out on the ones that i'm just telling you i prefer because that's what works best for me was the eyeliner the blushes i think the blushes is a go-to i think you should definitely pick up the blushes and the glosses are cool if you want to pick them up i love that and the makeup brushes but everything else is up it's really up to you if you want to get it for 220 i wish i would have just picked and choose the items that i want for the price point it's pretty expensive that i could have done better meaning i could have picked the ones i wanted i would have preferred them if they really would have focused the collection into her her latest album planet her um it's called um take a dive into doja world i think the collection is called if i'm incorrect i will put the name right here i just didn't like the aesthetic of the gold i love the pink but I something think... about the collection was missing a aesthetic to it let me know if you picked it up and you felt the same way or you agree with me or you disagree with me 
I purchased this with my own money. $220 is pretty expensive for a collection. And I don't know. I'm not super happy with it. I would say I'm, I'm okay with it. So now I just have it. But like I said. Anyways, guys, I have nothing else to say because I gave you my honest review about this. Let me know if you have it and if you thought about getting it and something changed your mind, what was it? What caused you to change your mind? Because that's always a good thing. I was this close on, like, I mean, like, in my, like, um, like this, I was this tiny close of not purchasing it. And I would have been okay <laughs> without getting it. I, I think the 220 is still like it's starting in like starting it starting to click on my mind. I spent 120 on a collection that I wasn't in love with the whole thing. It happens. But okay guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm gonna try my best to come here I'm more. Thank you again for clicking on this video and I wanna see you I wanna see you see you guys soon. Thank you. Go ahead and hit the like button if you like the video. Leave your comments below. I love to interact with you guys. All right, guys. Bye.